guys, I hope you're having an amazing week. Today's look is pretty glam on my standards. I haven't really done a look like this for a long time. I seem to go like in and out of like going quite glam and then quite natural. So it just depends on the time of year and like what products are available to me at the moment. But today's look, I'm really excited. I've used the Morphe 3T palette. I love that palette and I really don't use it enough. I am obsessed with this shimmery color. I think it is so, so stunning. And it's really spring or fall, whatever you really want to do, because it's not really super dark, but it's not super bright and light either. So I hope you guys love this look, and let's get started. So I'm starting out by priming my face with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, just to get my skin nice and prepped. And then for foundation, I'm going to be using my absolute favourite at the moment. It's the Laura Messier Silk Cream Foundation in Cashew Beige. Mixed in with a little bit of the Caro FX Custom Cover Drops in N20, just to get my perfect shade. But this foundation is absolutely stunning and I'm so in love with it right now. And then for brows, I'm going to be using my MAC Mystery Eyeshadow and a Zoeva Brow Line Brush. Just to get the perfect colour, I love the coolness of this powder at this time of year. And I always brush it out with a spoolie just to make sure everything is flawless. Then to set them down, I'm going to be taking some of the Benefit Benefit <laughs> Ready Set Brow Gel. I love this gel, it's so amazing at holding your brows in place and you can get a really nice messy brow look with it. So I'm absolutely obsessed with it at the moment. Then I'm going to be taking my NYX Pro Contour Palette. This is just to set down the base of the eye. Now I did accidentally not record this first bit of the eyeshadow, so I've already got a little bit of this first Morphe shade on, but then I'm just going to be darkening up the crease with this lovely chocolate shade. With cribs and secrets and forbidden bliss, can't stay still, don't stop the thrill. Taking some of the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Copper, I'm going to apply this to the inner half of my eyelid. This is going to provide an amazing base for the glittery eyeshadow we're going to put on top. I must creep while you and me repeat this bittersweet heat is suffocating. I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire. Using the Kat Von D Ink Liner in Trooper, I'm just going to do a nice wing liner, extending it quite far out just to give it a really nice kind of feline look. I'm applying the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Custard, and then I'm going to follow along with a little bit of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm, just to add a real nice brightening effect to the centre of the face. Using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Black Market, I'm just going to line my waterline as well as my tight line just to make the look a little bit more piercing and a little bit darker. Taking my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette again, I'm just going to set my under eye with some of this yellow powder. And then I'm also going to contour using a NARS Eater Brush and a little bit of this cool toned brown. Mm -hmm. 
To bronze up my face, I'm taking some of the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer. God, that is such a tongue twister. <laughs> and I'm just using this to bronze up the sort of outside of my face. For powder, I'm taking the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, and this is in the shade Dim Light. It is so beautiful if you are slightly tanned. I love this. For blush, I'm taking the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Incandescent Electra, and I'm applying this with a sheer cheek brush by Zoeva. Highlighter today, I'm taking the Kevin Aquant Starlight Highlighter. This is amazing. It's more of a pinky toned highlighter, and I just feel it goes perfectly with today's look. So this is the finished look. I really hope that you guys like it. I've just put a little bit of a curl through my hair. This is like second day hair, so I just thought give it a little bit of a zhuzh. I think I'm gonna basically grow my hair out a little bit again. Like I do love this length, but I think I want it a little bit longer. But to be honest, I feel like that's the beauty of having short hair is that you just get to go through all those different hair stages and like really like get to wear each one, you know, I appreciate pretty much. I don't know why I'm going off on this tangent, but I thought I'd chuck it in at the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Let me know if you do recreate this look or if you want to suggest any future videos or if you just love any of the products that I've used. These are all like favorite products, love them to death. So have fun. I will talk to you soon and yeah, bye.